Hello all of you little demons, Jules here for WhatCulture.com with a bit of a special video for you because I am very excited about the PS5 lineup. There is new tech on the horizon and my boner is leading me straight off into the sunset, you dig? But this is the thing, there's been a lot of games that have been announced for it so far, so what I thought I'd do today for you lovely people is rank all of them in terms of hype. Now it is a big list, so let's not waste any time and crack on as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com and this is every upcoming PS5 game ranked by hype. Number 51, Astro's Playroom. Amongst a sea of excitement, Astro's Playroom is quaint, but not exactly surprising or especially hype-worthy. In all fairness, this is because the game isn't trying to necessarily sell itself to the same degree as others, but since it comes with every PS5. Because of this, it only really has three tasks. Help you to learn the new controller, be entertaining, and look cool. And it's fair to say that it's managing all three at the moment. Number 50, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. While this might sound magically dull, there is actually a good chance that Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 might have the insane and unexpected success of the likes of Farming Simulator. So one to watch if you like fishing. <laughs> Number 49, Microman. Unless you have some very specific fetishes, Microman isn't likely at the top of your current PS5 hype list. But then again, the chance to interact with a rabbit twice your size is a hard opportunity to pass up. Number 48, Heavy Duty Challenge. The potential of using the physics engine to make a 4x4 truck do a triple backflip is, admittedly, quite promising for this one. Number 47, Flea Madness. If you can put aside the fact that fleas are absolutely terribly gross, the charming art style of this game might just win you over, even if it also might make you feel more than a little itchy. Number 46, World Rally Championship 9. While it'll be nice to see WRC 9 come to a new generation, we did have ample chance to play this one on the PlayStation 4, so it is welcome to the party, it's not exactly mind-blowing to see it here. Number 45, Gran Turismo 7. Now don't get me wrong, every console needs a good driving game to complete the roster. However, because you know that this one is always coming, there's no tension as to whether there'll be one or not, so sorry Gran Turismo, you are great, but you're not really hype-inducing. Still, it definitely looks fun. Number 44, Dirt 5. Again, car games are a ton of fun, but also an expected constant when it comes to a new console, so sorry mate, not exactly in pole position. Number 43, Observer, System Redux. For anyone who hasn't played Bloober Team's wonderful sci-fi horror Observer, the chances come in you in the System Redux. If you want a dose of existential angst set in the future, then this is the place to find it. Number 42, Ode to a Moon. Fancy a cosmic horror game that makes you feel even more existential dread than you already feel on a daily basis? Well, in that case, you've probably played Ode to a Moon's demo at that rate, but you can expect the completed game on PS5, and I am pretty hyped for it. Number 41, Destruction All-Stars. The unholy love child of Rocket League and Fortnite, Destruction All-Stars is a game that looks like it's going to be the new multiplayer favorite. After all, when a game is a destruction derby where you can also get out of your car and murder someone, you know you're gonna have to play it at least once. Number 40, Soulborn. Soulborn genuinely looks like a very promising indie title, but ironically it's a title that looks like it's stealing so many other things that it doesn't actually have a soul of its own. Number 39, Steam Dolls, Order of Chaos. Have you ever wished that Metroid was just a bit more gory? In that case, grab yourself a copy of Steam Dolls. Number 38, Quantum Error. The Dead Space genre of sci-fi horror really does need more games, and Quantum Error definitely looks like it's going to provide, even if it doesn't seem all that next-gen quite yet. Number 37, Gothic Remake. Let's be honest, anything that seems even remotely like Fable will get a few people's hearts excited, so yeah, sign me up. 36. Starfield While Starfield does sound incredibly exciting, seeing as it's Bethesda's new sci-fi child, we actually don't know much more than that right now. When we have more than a minute-long trailer with no gameplay, then we might be able to actually get the hype train out of the station. Number 35. Watch Dogs Legion while Watch Dogs Legion might look set to be a good time, it should be coming out on the PlayStation 4 as well, so it might not feel as graphically or mechanically improved as many other franchises will on the PS5. Number 34, Gods and Monsters. To be fair, having game footage leaked has slightly spoiled the surprise on this one, or we'd have actually likely been more excited for it. Because at the moment, it kind of looks, well, yeah, okay. Number 33, Pragmata. 
Pragmata genuinely looks pretty interesting, with a futuristic premise that doesn't actually give a lot away, aside from the fact that you go to the moon at the end of the trailer. Since it's also being released in 2022, the hype is pretty low for now. But who knows what could happen closer to the release date when we start to actually learn more about it and realize that it's coming out soon. Number 32. Scarlet Nexus it's a shame that Scarlet Nexus has seemingly gone under the radar for so many, since the game looks like it's going to be equal parts chaos and anime guffings with a really interesting art style. Number 31. GTA 5 Enhanced and Extended That's sweet, sweet GTA 5. I mean, knowing that it's going to look even brighter and shinier is exciting, but at this point, half of the world has played it for hundreds and hundreds of hours, so unless it's significantly extended, not everyone is going to want to replay it. Number 30. Goodbye Volcano High Following in the wake of similar and beloved games like Life is Strange and Night in the Woods, Goodbye Volcano High looks like it has potential to make us feel all of those beautiful, sad, and funny moments that its predecessors pulled off so well. However, for now, all we know is that it's a game about anime dinosaurs that eat pizza, which, to be fair, is actually a pretty good start. Number 29. Chivalry 2 Will Chivalry be fun as hell to play? Almost definitely. Will it also be incredibly similar to the first game? Almost definitely. I mean, that's not a bad thing, but it does mean that the prospect of it isn't too crazy. And remember, we're ranking this on hype! Number 28. Bug Snacks if you didn't react with unshakable horror upon seeing a strawberry with eyes be eaten in the Bug Snacks trailer, you simply weren't watching it right. A game that you can play with your kids but you can also consider unfathomably messed up? Don't mind if we do. Plus that song, hell yeah, brother. Number 27. Chorus While there's a lot of potential things that can go wrong in a game about flying a spaceship, Chorus's is, 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 is slightly Event Horizon vibe leaves us with some real promise, so long as the flying ends up feeling right. Number 26. Outriders Strangely, Outriders simultaneously looks like it could be an incredible amount of fun to play with friends, and it also looks like it could end up being the most generic of the new releases. Osley got a chance to play it quite recently and said that it was really, really fun, but at the same time said that it wasn't anything that he hadn't already seen before, but then again, it does have some very cool monsters. I'm torn. Number 25. Godfall Now, it's still 50-50 as to whether Godfall is going to be the next big franchise or a bit lackluster. The trailer that we've seen looks beautiful, but also didn't really tell us more than it is a game where you hit things, which again is cool, but also doesn't shed an awful lot of light on what could actually be a really promising game. Number 24. Stray Look, the cat wears a backpack, that alone should sell it to you. If not, how about the concept of a post-apocalyptic game set seemingly after the extinction of the human race? race, and you get to play as a cat attempting to uncover the secrets behind all of this. It is a weird premise for sure, but my god is that an engaging one. Number 23. Jet The Far Shore While we don't know an awful lot about Jet The Far Shore yet, the trailer thus far has suggested that it's a game with a Journey-esque art style that involves No Man's Sky-esque space travel. In short, it's the game we didn't know that we needed, with a soundtrack composed by the audaciously talented Scientific, or S-C-N-T-F-C if you want to be an ass about it, who works similar magic for Oxenfree and After Party. Mmm, those games were good. Number 22. Paradise Lost Paradise Lost, despite going somehow under the radar for many, holds a whole lot of promise. Set in an alternate universe where World War II never ended, players explore the world and uncover an abandoned bunker where dark secrets are held. In short, it sounds cool as hell, so all we need is some gameplay footage to actually confirm this. Number 21. Ghostwire Tokyo Ghostwire is a bit of a weird addition to the PS5 releases, because when we first heard word of it, many assumed that it would actually be a horror game. Now the trailer has been released, we know that it's less spooky and more about you fighting supernatural beasties. And while this isn't a bad thing, it has left many uncertain what exactly the game will entail, slowing the hype train slightly for now. Number 20. Little Devil Inside Little Devil Inside is a game that's been hyped for absolutely eons, having initially been planned for a Wii U release after being kickstarted in 2015. 15. But it's here now, and it is certainly promising. It blends hunting and killing ferocious monsters with a comedic tone and cartoonish art style, balancing them carefully in a kind of Hannah Montana way of the best of both worlds scenario. Little Devil Inside may just be the dark horse of the new PS5 releases, and you have to love it for that. Number 19. Oddworld Soulstorm Despite the Switch bathing in the luxury of many Oddworld games, nobody was likely expecting Abe to rock up with a PS5 release. But it is a delight that it has, because the plucky alien is always a welcome face, especially when his brave and wacky world is going to be rendered in beautiful high definition. Sign me the chuff up. 
Number 18. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 If the opening trailer showing you a man arranging his victims around a Christmas tree doesn't unsettle your stomach, you're likely a shoe in to enjoy the madness, violence, and general chaos of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines sequel. And the original is so much fun to play that if you haven't already, give it a shot. It's utterly mad. Number 17. Sackboy – A Big Adventure Another friendly face returns to the PlayStation with Sackboy – A Big Adventure, which promises all the same delights of Little Big Planet. And since Little Big Planet was such a hit with, well, pretty much everyone, due to its interesting and whimsical design, it is a safe bet to say that A Big Adventure will only continue to carry that torch. Yes, mate. Number 16. Returnal If there's one thing we don't see much of in the gaming market, it's roguelike games with realistic graphics and big budgets. Returnal manages to be both this and narratively fascinating, detailing the story of an astronaut who is trapped on a planet that changes and brings her back every time that she dies. Number 15. NBA 2K21 While it's definitely a Marmite, love it or hate it scenario, it's undeniable that the NBA series has a serious fan base behind it. It's also undeniable that there's a good chance the game is going to look absolutely gorgeous, which, combined with the fact that many of us thought that NBA 2K21 may have been a late arrival for some obvious reasons, means that it's got some serious hype to be considered. Number 14. Madden 21 it's fair to say that Madden is very much in the same boat as NBA, a game with a significant fan base that's either highly anticipated by people or not even anticipated at all by people who don't even know what a touchdown is and are now, quite frankly, too afraid to ask. Seriously though, guys, what is it? Number 13. Project Athea Of all the various games that we've had revealed for the PS5, Project Athea is perhaps the most visually impressive. It looks like it's going to be a real stunner. The graphics we've seen are breathtaking but also very brief, with our only look at gameplay being a moment where we saw the main character strangle an enemy with some vines, we saw a creature, and then do an admittedly very impressive leap onto a forest floor. Now, Project Athea could be the definitive next-gen game for the PS5, but we don't have quite enough info to know what it is yet, so our hype is tinged with uncertainty. Based on this trailer though, we could be in for something spectacular. Number 12. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart it's safe to say that everyone's inner child raised their head when we saw the announcement of a Ratchet & Clank game for the PS5. A good chunk of time has passed since we last saw the franchise, with the last instalment being in 2016, and even that was a reimagining of the first game. As such, it's a welcome relief to see the two make it all the way from the PS2 to the PS5, especially in such a colourful story that sees them travel together through some beautifully created dimensions, and yes, I'm running out of breath because I am so hyped up about this. Number 11. Metal Hellsinger A doom like game that is also a rhythm game, the world has been waiting for something as ridiculous and as perfect as this to come along. Number 10. Kina, Bridge of the Spirits Kina, Bridge of the Spirits would have been cool enough as just a beautiful animated film, let alone a new release for the PS5. It is jaw-droppingly gorgeous, and the level of detail that's gone into building the world really makes all the difference here. And in the fact that you get some Overlord-style control over some fuzzy little critters, and this is a win-win-win scenario. Number 9. Solar Ash When a PS5 game is made by the same folk who made Hyper Light Drifter, which for anyone who likes fast-paced combat is a must-play, you know your infinite something good, and it appears that Solar Ash is building on the blocks of Drifter. As just seeing the main character skate across the floor, you can tell that this is a game that has immensely satisfying controls. Add on a mysterious look into the plot, and you've got a game that is sure to be a winner on your hands. Number 8. Deathloop it's hard not to fall in love fast with Deathloop when you first see the trailer for it. It's witty, it's fresh, and it's got an undeniably fascinating plot. A man trapped in a time loop so he can be repeatedly hunted, it's undeniably dark, but also wonderful stuff. It doesn't hurt that the thing is also being made by the same people who made Dishonored, and while this is very transparent in the teleporting mechanics, it bodes very well for a game having a damn good fighting system as well. Number 7. Hitman 3 there will never be enough sweet assassinations in video games. That is the eternal rule. As such, the reveal of Hitman 3 is a true delight for all sorts of wonderful reasons. First and foremost, it's obviously that it's goddamn Hitman 3, the conclusion to the reboot series and an all-around good time. The second is that it looks absolutely glorious. Although that's not entirely surprising given that the game was clearly made to show off the PS5's graphical upgrades. Godspeed, Agent 47. Number 6. The Lord of the Rings Gollum When you're offered a game that takes the Lord of the Rings and combines it with Dark Souls, it's a recipe for success, even if we don't know anything else. Yes. Number 5. Demon's Souls 
While it might almost seem unthinkable to be incredibly excited about a remake, Demon's uh, Souls is an almost annoyingly perfect choice to be recreated. Because Demon's Souls is just old enough that the graphics feel kind of outdated, even if the game itself is a masterpiece that spawned one of the most successful gaming franchises, and say it with me kids, OF ALL TIME! As such, putting a lick of new paint on it and making it feel like you aren't swimming through molasses when you play it is a surefire way to get folks to play a true classic. Number 4. Assassin's Creed Valhalla While there are some very real concerns about whether an assassin can feasibly also be a Viking, people are still very excited to find out, for better or worse. And although each game in the franchise has its own flaws, it is a stellar franchise overall. As such, Valhalla has a pretty decent chance of being a phenomenal game and stands to be entertaining at the very worst. Number 3. Resident Evil 8 Village a new Resident Evil game, hell yes. A new Resident Evil game with werewolves, witchcraft, and Chris Redfield, hell yes. With an isolated snowy landscape and plenty of unnerving characters having already been unveiled to us, Village promises to be just as scary and messed up as Biohazard was, while also possibly furthering the larger story of Chris and company further on, so yes, please get it in my veins. Number 2. Horizon Forbidden West just when you think that the Horizon franchise couldn't get any better, it manages to upgrade again. Not only does Aloy's new adventure look just as daunting and as breathtaking as Zero Dawn, but we also got to see all of the new aspects the sequel will include. Perhaps the most exciting of these is the underwater sections, as they look like they've been ripped straight from the most beautiful portion of the Caribbean. Even if you never intend in playing this game, looking at the trailer still might well give your brain a nice extra dose of serotonin. And number one, Spider-Man Miles Morales. After just how phenomenal the PS4 Spider-Man was, you can't not be excited at the promise of another installment in the series, especially when it contains Miles Morales, one of the coolest superheroes ever made. While this does mean Spider-Man 2 and no doubt its epic battle between Peter and Green Goblin is a little further away, that's more than a fair exchange when we get a welcome interlude with the star of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. The vibes for this game are immaculate, and I cannot wait. Whew, and there we go, my friends. That was the massive list of every PS5 game and how hyped we are to play them. Let me know your own hype rankings down in the comments section below. Maybe not all 50 or so entries, maybe just the top few, because otherwise you'll be here for years. And now, while I go and rest my voice, there's only a few more things to say. If you want to chat to me further, you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice to see me live stream every single Wednesday and Sunday, and it'd be great to see you over there. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. We detailed today a lot about the PS5 and how hyped we are to play its games, but you know what, my friend? There is something that I'm even more hyped to talk about, and that is you, you, my friend, because you are a bloody big ledge. Let me hype you up with some positive mental energy so you can go out today and absolutely smash it. You deserve love, happy and success. You do not deserve anyone putting you down or making you feel different about your life choices or your style. You are not the villain in this narrative. You are the hero and you, my friend, are not alone. As always, I have been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.